Hi Aquarius, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your general love reading for the month of October. This is going to be for any Aquarius looking for any guidance and messages in their daily love lives. Remember if this video doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other ones coming up for you soon. So please do uh, like, share uh, the videos and definitely subscribe if you are interested. Okay, so let's begin with your reading Aquarius. We're going to be doing one card from the Romance Angel Oracle deck first. Then we're going to draw a hidden truth. Then we're going to do it in the shadows for your person. Plus, we're going to draw out some uh, right away cards for more in-depth reading for you. OK, so Sagittarius, we don't take ourselves too seriously here. Always a chill vibe here with me. OK, so let's get on with your reading. Now, this is going to be for any Aquarius sun, moon, rising and Venus placements. OK. And of course, cross watchers, you are welcome to uh, watch as well. OK, definitely welcome. So why don't we figure out what we need to know for you? Universe, let's get a clear message here for Aquarius, please. What is coming up for Aquarius for the month of October? And of course, it's happy Halloween to you as well. I'm in my Star Trek Discovery costume. One of my favorites and uh, definitely uh, enjoy wearing this is more often than not. OK. <laughs> All right. So, Aquarius, let's find out what we have for you. Universe, please give me a clear message here for Aquarius, please. What does Aquarius need to know for the month of October? What is coming up for Aquarius, please? What is coming up for Aquarius? Okay. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay. So put that aside for now. Very interesting. Let's figure out more and then we'll get into it. All right. Next, we have the Hidden Truth Oracle. So I'm going to draw one card out from here. This could be another message for you. And of course, coming from your person, but more could be coming from your energy I'm seeing here. OK, so what do we have next for Aquarius, please? What does Aquarius need to know for the month of October? Universe, please give me a card. There it is. Let's see what it is. So many things remind me of you. So this is definitely your energy, Aquarius. There are things you face out in the real world where you're dealing with and having to be reminded by this person. Calling in your soulmate. You've been wanting this person for a while, it seems. Let's take a look now and see what this person wants to know or wants to tell you. Let's figure this out. This isn't in the shot. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay. They don't trust you. I don't trust you is what it says here. So they don't trust you. Very interesting. They may be insecure. They may find that you're putting up a wall or a front here. But let's see now what is going on for you for October. We're going to do the right away deck. And I'm going to start doing uh, the Celtic Cross for the general readings coming up next month. Please be patient. I'm also busy working my regular job, too. So we try our best to uh, get these videos out for you whenever I can. OK, so what is in store for Aquarius? What is in store for Aquarius? OK, universe. Oh, we have a few. All right, we'll take them as they come out. Wow, OK. Look at this. It's all three yellow cards. OK. Look at that. All three. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Empress and then we have the Strength card. It's a lot happening for you this month. I'm seeing that some of you 
may feel a little bit like you were coming out of a negative energy in your lives. Queen of Pentacles I'm getting here is your energy. You feel as if you were lacking something in the areas of love, or maybe you needed to nourish yourself again, love yourself again. Some of you are still suffering from that. You want to love again, but you feel incomplete. You feel lacking. You feel like you're not good enough. You feel as if it's been a while since you've paid attention to any of your own needs. And this is something that you struggle with, okay, here Aquarius? The Empress energy is next for you. So there's this energy of you coming out and really feeling yourself again back into your own groove, getting into the things you like to do again, really enjoying your energy, attracting more than ever. And we have the strength card. So this is you coming out and having the courage to want to put yourself out there again. Maybe in the past, you needed to take care of yourself and your own energy, a lot of healing, but a lot of time was needed here to comfort you. And I still feel like you're coming out of it for some of you. Some of you are already out of it. With the Empress, like I said, definitely getting into your own groove this month. You're going to be attracting. You're going to be glowing up here. And the strength card here is to support you. You have everything that is needed here to find love. Okay? Wow. All right. So far, so good. Let's take a look and see what else we need to know here for you. Universe, please give me a clear message here for Aquarius, please. What does Aquarius need to know for the month of October? What is coming up for... Oh, there we go. We have the Three of Wands in reverse. I have to say, someone's impatient here. It's like the energy of you feeling like, I don't want to wait anymore for this. I can't wait anymore. I'm over this. You've been waiting too long for too many times, it seems. It's like you're frustrated. And you've had other relationships and connections fade. They faded from something that was supposed to maybe be potential, but you no longer feel the need to really invest your time anymore into this. You know that there's no future with these people. So you don't give them much of your energy. I feel like you're focusing on one specific person though. It's as if now's the time that you're gonna start taking some sort of action, okay? You're no longer waiting anymore. You're no longer waiting anymore, okay. Well, we have two, so we have the two of swords next for you, followed by the nine of swords, okay? So I'm getting here a decision. What is that decision? You're thinking about it. You're contemplating. It brings up memories for you. There's someone here you wish to communicate with and you're scared. Ah, this is where it's coming from, of course. You're scared of something. All right, let's find out more. Let's find out more for Aquarius, please. What else for Aquarius? Universe, please get a clear message for Aquarius, please. What else for Aquarius? We have the Knight of Wands. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. Hmm. Getting here. 
but this may be your energy. It's like you feel like you're ready to consume that passion again and really engage now. You're yearning for physical contact. Okay? So forget what you're thinking here at night and all your bad thoughts and negativity here. This decision will soon come to a conclusion. You will be taking that action-oriented energy of the Knight of Wands and kind of take off in a way. All right? You will be ready now. Oh yeah, for sure. Look, it's the Nine of Pentacles for you. It's that really beautiful energy that you exude, you're attracting, you're so popular, you're doing really well in life. You feel confident that things are coming to you. You're manifesting. So that's going to be attracting someone here coming into your life. You are visualizing this and it's happening to you. I wouldn't be surprised if the magician card comes out for you. We have the six of wands in reverse next for you. There's someone here still that you still wish to come towards. And I'm getting a sense here that all this thought and all this hesitation is because you're afraid of the rejection, what happens after the rejection. You're afraid of the consequences because somehow this person is connected to either you in a group or a work situation where there'll be other people basically in your business. So it's all, it's really an energy of you needing to face your fears and deal with those consequences if you'd like to proceed. Okay. It's the risk you must take. So let's see what else. We got for you. Let's find out more for Aquarius, please. Universe, tell me more for Aquarius, please. We have the Knight of Cups. Yep. You're going to be excited with the Knight of Wands energy and finally taking action into actually building a relationship or a connection with someone this month. And you will be possibly asking someone out on a date. I'm getting even getting that energy of you finally being able to open up your heart here. There's somebody here you're going to be opening your heart to and it's going to feel wonderful for you. And as if the person that you may be dealing with in the past here as well could be the same person for some of you. Yeah. It could also be two different people. You maybe also been dealing with two, a fire and or a water sign as well. Aquarius, there's lots going on for you. So <laughs> let's find out more for you. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Could be another person here, fire. Hmm. It's as if. Somebody here doesn't want to engage. I'm getting here somebody here doesn't respond to any of the advances that you've maybe made with this person. You feel as if you can't read them. Hmm. Or they're confusing you a little bit. Perhaps they may still be in love with someone else. They may be. They may be in another relationship, perhaps. Something going on here with the Queen of Wands. Anyway, let's continue on, okay? <laughs> All right, one more card, please, for Aquarius. There we go. All right, it's the Page of Cups. They're going to meet you halfway. They're going to meet you halfway. And you're going to get a signal from them, but it's going to be something that you weren't expecting. It will be a 
complement to your own offer. So it could be them responding back to you in some way. Could be definitely a yes here for some of you, who those of you. But there will be a connection here. And it could be this Queen of Wands is somebody basically um, separating from another person. They may be breaking up with someone to be with you. It's very possible here. And the I don't trust you may be their kind of uh, energy to their person, their, their ex energy. They could be cheating involved for some of you. Okay, let's get into more detail here for you. I want to know more about... Let's find out more about the Three of Wands in reverse, okay? So what do we need to know here for the Three of Wands? What is going on? Please give me a message for the Three of Wands, please. We don't want any flyers. <laughs> oh, okay, we have two, so we'll take them both. We have the Eight of Swords, and we have the Five of Wands. Clarifying the Three of Wands. You miss this person. You miss them so much that they consume you. You think about this person a lot. And I'm getting here that you're afraid to come forward again because something happened to you too in the past. Something that went on between the two of you. Maybe there was some sort of disagreement, some sort of falling out in regards to someone not reciprocating, somebody ghosting somebody. I don't know what it is, but there's an uncomfortable energy here between the two of you. So you feel as if you don't know how to make this move right now. So that energy fuels this decision to finally break free from that energy, okay? Tell me more about this Two of Swords, please. Okay, ten of, 10 of Cups in Reverse. The decision is whether or not this person makes you happy or whether or not you're happy with yourself and ready to finally open up and commit to a relationship. It's a hard decision for you, that's too many. And tell me more about the Nine of Swords, please, in reverse. What do we have for you? Hmm. King of Swords, Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay. Clarifying the Nine of Swords. You're afraid to tell the truth. You're afraid about the truth about yourself. You're afraid that you're never going to find your perfect match. You're not uh, thrilled by the people that you've been dealing with here in the past. And you've worked really hard. You've worked really hard to maintain your professionalism, to prof maintain your integrity. But it's time. It's time to let go of those blocks that we put up for ourselves. You deserve it, so you need to go for it. All right, let's see what we need to know here about the Knight of Wands, please. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. Go. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Clarifying the Knight of Wands. 
person may be uh, someone who's likes to spend, likes to spoil here. The energy could also mean you wanting to now be in a position of making a move and no longer holding in that energy anymore. So and a lot of you Aquariuses who were not as receptive to moving forward in such a uh, maybe sometimes irrational way here with the fire. Okay. But the Knight of Wands definitely is someone who is ready to jump to the next adventure. And they're willing to spend or do whatever it takes. So that will be your energy that you'll be exuding here. Like whatever it takes. I'm not holding back anymore. I'm going to invest. But I'm going to spend wisely as well. Next we have the Knight of uh, Swords in Reverse. Clarifying the Knight of Wands in Reverse. For a lot of you Aquariuses here, you may feel mentally that you may find yourself questioning if you're doing the right thing, if you're making that right decision here. The energy moves you through, but then you fight it back. There's this voice inside your head, keeps coming back every now and then. It's going to be telling you something. You might want to listen to it right away. But there's a message there that you're telling yourself here in this situation. This will be an opportunity for you to let go of those fears and really be open to these new challenges, to new love. You're no longer holding back any of that energy anymore. So even with the Knight of Swords in reverse, could mean you're not even moving through too fast anymore. You're going to actually pace yourself this time. Let's figure out what we need to know here for the Nine of Pentacles. I do apologize, I have a cold, so I may sound a little bit stuffy. All right. That's too many. Tell me more, please, for the Nine of Pentacles. It's the Star card. Aquarius Energies. Ooh, you're going to be, you know, I'm just getting this vision here for you, Aquarius. You are going to be living it like a king or queen. There's so much positive energy around you. I don't, you're going to be making things happen. And these are like wishes, fulfillments here. You have a new pathway that you're going to be entertaining here. This is going to be a new direction towards a new goal that you have. And it's going to bring you into the light. You're going to find yourself captured in this moment. And you're realizing that you're on the right path again. And this will happen to you this month. But there's this energy of positivity that just runs through you right now this month you're very magnetic here people will be paying attention for sure okay let's find out about the six of wands in reverse okay tell me more about the six of wands please universe tell me more about these six of wands it's the eight of cups in reverse clarifying the six of wands Having to doubt yourself here. You're doubting yourself. You're scared. You want to hide. You're embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed? Don't be. This is your energy you need to really overcome here. There's like this up and down energy for you here, okay, Aquarius? For one minute you're good, then you're not good. Then you're hesitating, then you're going for it, then you're doing really well, and then bam, you psych yourself out again. 
leads you to another point here with the Knight of Cups. Let's find out who this person is. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups for Aquarius, please. Universe, tell me more about the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. What else? What else for the Knight of Cups, please? It's too many. Universe, tell me more about the Knight of Cups. <laughs> they just don't want to cooperate. The universe or Spirit is pissed. <laughs> no, just joking. Well, we have the Nine of Cups. Look at that. Clarifying the Knight of Cups. There's love. There's true love. There's soulmate energy here. Somebody has your attention and you have their attention. Could be for the Queen of Wands is another person here. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, clarifying the Queen of Wands. Someone here could be hiding that they have money or that they're successful and they're trying to hide that. Some people may come from money and they didn't work for it but they come from money here, okay? So that could be what the Queen of Wands energy is. Or this is a broken home. This is someone who came from a broken home. Separation, whatever other dealings they have in the family. But there may be some trauma there, okay? Let's find out more about the Page of Cups, please. Think about the Page of Cups. Who is this Page of Cups? And why are they here? Who do they love? <laughs> okay. Tell me more, please. Tell me more. Page of Cups, please. Page of Cups. The High Priestess in Reverse. See that? Clarifying the Page of Cups. You are basically not going to notice this person. They may have kept this a secret from you for a while now. Someone from your past, possibly. Someone you don't see coming. You weren't paying attention for this, but you're going to be falling for this person. I'm getting here that some of you feel as if you weren't good enough for this person or you didn't see this coming at all, but it's coming your way. Okay, let's find out what we need to know here at the bottom of the deck. It's the Three of Cups for you. That energy for you. Oh, you're going to be so happy right now. There's going to be a wave of excitement coming through for you. Some hesitation energy for you, but for the most part, I see you really falling for someone this month. This may be this connection that's coming out that's going to be innocent at first, but it's going to build into something bigger here. And you are basically exuding all that positive energy here with the star and the nine of pentacles. So good for you. Good for you, Aquarius. You will be manifesting a partner for yourself at some point. May not happen right away, but it will be coming towards you. So please stay positive. Remember, if this reading doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other ones coming up for you again soon. Don't forget to check back and take a look at my general readings coming up uh, for the next month. And I really wish you a happy Halloween. Sorry about the cold. It's a voice here, but uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks, Aquarius. Bye for now.